Hey everybody, it's Bobo the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. Last time we bought a Tigra. And it wasn't so bad, but, you know, it wasn't setting the world alight. A blaze, a Lundra blaze. We could do more with it, I think. 216 horsepower. As long as we keep under 216 horsepower, and we get some, you know, weight reduction and tires and stuff on it. It's not the cheapest way, I guess. I know, but, um... Tune it. I think I already got the racing muffler on it, but let's be sure. I did not, but if I do, it'll go over the limit. Everybody to the limit. Everybody to the limit. Everybody come off. Oh, gosh. So I got the computer. Do we get the engine balancing? No, it raises up to 211. What about the port polish? Alright. To 11. Everybody to 11. Everybody to 11. Everybody come off all gods. This will put us at 216. I guess we'll find out whether or not 216 itself is allowed in, or if it has to be under 216. If it has to be under and I'm at, I will be annoyed. But, uh, we'll figure our way around it. What does the raising modification of this car look like? It looks like that. That's not bad looking. We're not doing it. We're not doing it right now, for sure, but I don't think we'll be doing it in the end. The Tigra Ice Race car, as I remember, was a pretty fun car to have, so we'll probably just get that going. Now, let's go to the German Championship. We have a car with 216 horsepower. Let's enter the 216 horsepower less race. I have a silver cup here. But I need the gold cup. I want the gold. Give me the gold. Wait. It had a gold cup on it. I could have sworn we got second, and it didn't say two on it. Did we win that one, and I just thought we got second? Am I hallucinating? Was it an actual tie? Am I going to have to go back and see whether or not the time down to the millisecond was tie? That would have been exciting, wouldn't it, folks? Especially if I'd noticed. You folks may be uh, watching that one now and going like, Oh my god, that was the most exciting finish ever. And you'd be right. It was the most exciting finish ever. Now... Let's take a look at the difference that good tires and light weight can make. Also knowing the car slightly better. I mean, public service announcement, folks. Seriously, tires are the best performance investment you can make in your car. They're the only part of the car that actually is in contact with the road. Everything else that's good or bad about the car has to go through those tires. I am not a paid representative of the International Tire and Rubber Workers Council or something, but I'm just saying. Get a good set of tires. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> I 
Alright, waited too late to get through the breaking for there, but, you know, what are you gonna do? What do I have to do? I am racing this second lap pretty sloppily. Should probably cut it out, because at least one other car is actually beginning to catch up a bit. Alright. Let's keep this, uh, let's keep this party going good. It's not the way I intended the party to keep going. Boy, I lost a lot of uh, momentum through a momentum-heavy section here. Oh well, we finished. And we do. We did okay. There's <coughs> an Audi A3. Audi A3 is a nice little car. They didn't, uh... They didn't really catch on in the United States, unfortunately. People have a hard time accepting in their minds in the United States the idea of a, uh... premium hatchback. People just see hatchbacks and think, oh, that's a cheap car. So, um... He's always going to face an uphill uh, battle. 591 horsepower, huh? The world league. Look at that. Five races. I'm not going to be racing that for a while because, as I recall, <coughs> well, first of all, yeah, there is no limit on the. As I recall, that is what amounts to this game's final stage, in that it's like the tournament that you enter, and when you win that tournament, it plays the closing credits. I don't know what I'm going to do for the closing credits, now that I think about it. Um, the... I guess I have the music off. I'm not sure if the music will stay off for that. Or whether or not it considers the uh, closing sequence something special. Um, basically, the issue here being that um, closing sequence uses a popular song by the Foo Fighters. There goes my hero. Um, spoiler alert, I guess, but you won't be hearing it here because the last thing I need is a content match. And that is a popular enough song owned by a big enough label that I would have to think that that is a distinct possibility that they would come by here and be a little bit upset. And you know what? I guess I couldn't blame them. Well, I don't think anybody would be tuning into the video of Gran Turismo where I win the championship to fast forward to the part where the ending scene comes on and plays There goes my hero Watch him as you go Not any, any of that, but, um, you know, maybe somebody would. Uh, I can't argue that people always make sense. So, ah, oh, good. More club in stage five uh, special one make races. They're my favorite. In case you couldn't tell, I was being sarcastic. It's 
car does have quite the uh, understeery tendency here. It's okay. Wow, I seem to be doing a real number on these other uh, mobiles, don't I? They probably did not tune their cars up as much as I did. Let's just keep things moving smoothly. Um, let's see, the other thing, it's not in this game, if I remember right, but um, Opal, interestingly, uh, shares something in common with uh, Tesla. Both companies made a car based off of the Lotus Elise. Um, the Opal made uh, the Opal Speedster, which I believe is in later um, later Gran Turismo games. Heck, it might have been in this one, and I just didn't notice it was there in the showroom. Wouldn't that be embarrassing? It wouldn't really be embarrassing, folks. But, you know, be interesting, I guess. Um... And the Tesla Roadster was also based off of a uh, Lotus Elise platform. Um, I thought the Speedster was a pretty nice looking machine. Um, sort of a little bit more angular as compared to the Lotus's. I mean, it had sharp angles on it too, but generally more rounded shape. Alright, let's uh, go to the special thing here. You could also get... the Calibra Touring Car. But let's go back and get the Tigra Ice Race Car. Because this thing is still way better than anything I could tune up. And it's pretty neat. Looks like it'd be pretty heavy score, you know? So we're gonna take this and we're gonna go to the racing style race. I'm gonna guess most of the cars, if not all of them there, will be racing modified Tigras. Like regular Tigras. Let's go ahead and go for the super soft tires here, guys. Anybody else got a nice race car? I believe I am in elite company here. Okay, this thing is pretty intense. Certainly compared to the regular Tigra. It's a little rally car is what it is. I mean, I suppose it's actually a nice race car, but... As it seems, the things are fairly similar in some ways. But yeah, I think using the ice race car may have allowed me to get this one in the bag, folks. Should really just slow down a little bit more. Oh well. I like this little guy. He is my buddy.
wonder whether I'd be allowed to use him in the GT350 championship or whatever that one is. Probably, he's got a small little displacement. This is a naturally aspirated car too, isn't it? Alright, little guy. You have worked your way into my heart. You cost me a half million dollars. But I say you're worth it. Let's continue. Let's find a place to use this dang car. Let me see if it had a description, too. That would be uh, nice to check out if it did. I suppose I should have, if already. If By the way, Opal was a successful bicycle and sewing machine maker. It does not. 418 horsepower, but yeah, just, uh... Now, 418 horsepower... 57.99... Well, we're past the halfway mark now, folks. Well and truly. At least in terms of, uh... Achievements, not necessarily in terms of the amount of time that this will take. Now then, are these all regular cars or sports cars or race modified, I guess is the question slash term I mean to be trying to figure out, use, whatever? I don't know. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find... Yes, these are regular cars. And we can make them change slightly. Alright. I accept this. Let's go back to the races. Come on, let's load it. Let's load it. Get the answer here. Yes, obviously I could use this thing for rally events. That would be a sensible thing to do. Or I could enter it in the Super Touring Trophy. How about it? It does. 493. But, but they told me it had less. Were they lying to me? Did you lie to me, Opal, about my Tigra Ice Race car? You did. Well, that's just shameful. That's what that is. Just shameful. Just for that, I'm gonna have to go do a rally race. Let's go to the Smoky Mountain North here. Let's race against this Saxo. Let's race against Flexo. And I have no recollection of how this course goes, so this will be fun for all parties. And will probably involve me being embarrassed. Okay, so there's that sort of floating involved. No, some kind of. Okay. That one, okay.
Okay, this is... This is not going half bad. I mean, I'm colliding with sides of mountains, but I'm doing so in a gentle way. I win! I win! I could say it! Gonna go ahead and exit out. Heck, that was good enough. I might even try the, uh, the next... the next challenge level up. See how that goes. That's exciting, isn't it, folks? Excitement! Are you guys excited? I should cite you for excitement. A Renault McGowan. Anyone? So Zachary Dean seems to be equally parts intrigued and puzzled by something that I can't quite make out. Still got the uh, off the line advantage there. Well, I uh, totally lost the thread of that. That wasn't quite the way things were meant to be. Alright, let's just keep this uh, ship pointed straight ahead. Strike heads. Managed to make our way through that uh, sort of that last sector very well. We can just get a nice look at that angle of that car. Maybe we'll get this as a preview image. That'd be nice. Check out the car. I like this little guy. Look at this little guy. He's so cute. Look at this little guy. This little opal guy, little opal tigger guy. Tigger, tigger, tigger. He's such a cute little tigger. El tigre, el tigre. Yeah, so. I'm losing my mind, I guess. But, um, I'm losing my mind over how great this opal tigra is. And my opponent here will be an Impreza rally car. In theory, that thing should be as fast. This should, should be a match for this Tigra Ice Race car, but... It's difficult for me to know. Because I'm just some boob. What do I know? It is, if not a perfect match, a reasonable match. Stay back. Stay back, Impreza.
Oh boy. That was a pretty terrible run of corners, and of course, this is so momentum based. But you have a bad couple of corners, all of a sudden you're pretty much at a standstill and you need to be moving a million miles an hour. Oh no, here comes the Impreza. Stay behind me, you ghost, you ghost car. Don't haunt me. Win. The ghost car didn't haunt me. Opal Tigra. Look at it there. Doesn't it make you want to buy Mobile One Opal Tigra or High Hut, whatever the other products that were displayed on its various bumpers were? I remember um, a good friend of mine once got uh, like one of those like little tiny remote control cars, like the tiniest ones that you can like you know sort of like you can hold in your hand. And this is from China, and it was covered with all kinds of. Um, all kinds of crazy stickers and the stickers were for not for brands of car parts or things like that but for car parts like the concepts of individual car parts there was a sticker that said bumper on it there was a sticker that said airbag there was one that said suspension it was interesting Alright, I don't remember the layout of this place, but this car does seem to be... ...pretty interested in finding that out. So, I'll let it go. This is a great little car for this running around in the dirt. I like it a lot. Alright, so that was a little bit too much slow down there, but man, everything seems to be coming up Tigra here lately. I'm on a roll! This is great! I didn't know I was going to be sweeping through all these. This was not one of the, like, elite million dollar rally cars. This thing's only half a million bucks feels like a million bucks aha all right i'll try it against the delta this is the delta s4 presumably and uh this will be quite a test because, as you guys know, I was all rhapsodic about how crazy the Lancia Delta S4 was. It being a crazy car from the heyday of Group B rallying. Alright, let me not forget that there's actually... Uh, Okay, if I had uh, handled that turn correctly, I would still be leading this.
not great through those corners, the tight corners, but uh, I'm not sure I'm going to catch up to this guy, but I feel like I could have. second and a half, considering how much time I lost in that one turn, I lose. It's okay. I'm going to try this again because I want to go out on a happy note. Happy! Zero. Nope, 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 nope. Let's continue. Let's do it again. Let's Arkanoid do it again. I think the, well, I don't know how that's actually said, but the villain, the villain from the Arkanoid. I never knew for the longest time there was a villain to Arkanoid. I thought it was just you broke blocks, but apparently there's a boss. I guess the blocks form the shape of a bad guy at some point. If I remember correctly, he looked a lot like the um, bad guy from uh, Star Fox. The Andros face, or whatever it is, at the end of the original Star Fox. Obviously not the, like, monkey, the, like, ape awkward guy that you, uh, see in the game over screen, but, like, the final boss that was a face that was constructed with a bunch of crazy pixels and stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. You've all played Star Fox. Keep that momentum going. Keep myself alive. Keep myself alive. Alright, that S4 is gonna start to catch up from there. I just need to be worried about keeping my average speed up. Don't necessarily need to be worried about taking any one corner, especially bravely or quickly. Just need to, uh... Keep things rocking. And rolling and strutting and strolling. And make sure to not smoke cigarettes. Because that is not involved in rocking and rolling and strutting and strolling, basically. So yeah, we did it. We came back. We won. This car is apparently officially better than the Lancia Delta S4. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess I feel like saving the game. Because we did do a lot of progress in this uh, video. When we come back next time, folks, hmm, maybe I'll go run around some more rallies. Maybe I'll get back to... Uh, picking off little individual races and stuff one by one just uh, for completion's sake. Um, either way, that'll probably be another play session. But uh, right now, this is Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye now.